tour. We got the Primate Cat and Aquatics building. We got Emperor Angel Fish. It's a juvenile. Longhorn Cowfish. Purple Tang. Red Sea Clownfish. From the Red Sea. Red Sea Sailfin Tang. Golden Jewel Antheus. A <laughs> so how tang Arabian angel fish <laughs> Clown Rock. And Emperor Angel Fish. I can tell that's the Arabian Angel Fish. Sailfin Tang. And all the Antheus are all the orange ones. The Cowfish. Guess what? We got this tank. We got Pinstripe Dompa. Code Savoto. Code Savato, sorry I mispronounced it the first time. Madagascar Rainbow Fish. Madagascar. And Lamina. There you go. A very tiny fish. Yes, got more fish here. We got two toed sloth and Bolivian gray TT monkey. Right, I see the TT monkey, you can see their tails. There's actually three of them up there. And I see the two toed sloth. I think that red rough gleamer. You see the red rough gleamer taking a nap. Don't touch the glass. Just look. It's a secondary habitat for the red rough gleamer. We got ring tailed gleamer. I see him right there. These guys are actually the most popular types of lemurs. As if you are familiar with the movie Madagascar, then you're probably going to know who King Julian is. I'm assuming it's probably an additional habitat for the ring-tailed lemur. We got mongoose lemur. Alright, so I do see the mongoose lemur. He was just there, but he just went up to the top. He was just there, but he was in that green box, but then he jumped out, and fortunately I can't get any closer, because there's these green barriers, which keeps the animals away. Because the monkey swimmer is out, but he's all the way up there, the top. He was actually just in that little green bin there. Oh, oh, the wait. Came back down. It's a nice lemur. Dude, I want a chinchilla. Chinchillas are crazy. They're so soft. Alright, because there's the green barrier here, which unfortunately prevents us from getting any closer to the glass. There's a bunch of people that was banging on one of the other habitats, was banging on the glass. So don't ever do that if you ever come to a zoo. So that's why they have these green barriers to keep you away so you don't bang on the glass. Because usually it's actually the adults that do it, even though the adults should know better, and it was not the children that was doing it. Oh, so there's a second mongoose in here. Don't know if that's the same one or if it's a second one, but it's a secondary habitat for it. And got crowned lemur. Okay, so I see the crowned lemur. It's in the back. 
second habitat for the crowd lamer. Here we got Fusa. Alright, so this is the Fusa's habitat, but I do not really see the Fusa anywhere. This is actually the habitat where... Oh, wait, wait. I almost completely missed it, but the Fusa is right there. Sleeping in that bale of hay. Take the nap. Kind of looks like a cat. Even though these guys are actually not related to cats, these guys are more related to mongoose. More related to mongoose and hyenas. There's an additional habitat for the Fusa. We got Pied Tamarin. Alright, this is the Pied Tamarin's habitat, and I don't see it anywhere. So hopefully I'll be able to check back here a little later, as this is a little very far from the entrance, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back here later. We got Scarlet Macaw. Alright, so I'm trying to find the macaws, but I don't see it anywhere. So it's probably in that there, or it's somewhere behind the scenes, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time to come back here later, because this zoo is so large. Listen here, we got Southern Three Banded Armadillo. White Faced Saki. Golden Lion Tamarin. And Two Toed Sloth. Now, is this the habitat for them? And I don't really see them anywhere. Yeah, so this habitat is a second habitat for them. See, there's a two toed sloth right there. Let me see, there's another one in the tree. It's the white faced Saki. A second one, I believe that's the male, because it's the male to have the white faces. That's probably the female right there. Alright, so I'm looking for the armadillo, but I don't really see them anywhere. We got Black Howler Monkey. Alright, I'm looking for the Howler Monkey, and I don't really see it anywhere. A secondary habitat. I see there's some of the hammock. We got Western Lowland Gorilla. This is the Western Lowland Gorilla's indoor habitat, and I'm assuming they're going to be outside since the weather's very nice. Oh, that's another area for the gorilla's indoor habitat. The gorillas do have a really nice indoor area for them. We got Allen Swamp Monkey. Alright, so I'm trying to see the Allen Swamp Monkey. I actually do see it. You can see it moving around. I'm trying to get a good view of it, but it's there. It's additional habitat because he has a second Allen Swamp Monkey. I've got my Holly Bush Baby. And Northern Greater Bush Baby. Oh, is this the habitat for him? It looks like I see one right there. See there's one. And I see the other bush baby. What are they? They look like baby lemurs. Can I see there's another bush baby? We got northern tree fruit. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to try and find them. Yeah, so it's very dark in here, and since these animals are nocturnal, they rely on the darkness, so I don't really see it anywhere. I think I picked me slow, Loris. And I'm trying to look for them, and I don't really see it anywhere, but I'm sure it's in here somewhere. So it's likely it's probably somewhere in those little hammocks there, but I'm going to see if I can find it. I think got I I. Alright, I see the I I. Got a big fluffy tail. I think got a second Mahali bush baby. We also got a northern tree shrew. Alright, so I'm looking and I don't really see it anywhere. So it's probably hiding very well in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I do see the bush baby. You can see him right there. And I believe here's a third habitat for the 
northern tree shrew, but I don't see it anywhere, so it's probably hiding very well. This one is on back in the Alex Wall Monkey. There's three of them. Two more of them up there. But the third one just climbed up to the top. You can kind of see it right there. Hang up, golden bellied manga bay. Yeah, that's a golden bellied manga bay. I believe this is my first time seeing this type of monkey at a zoo. You can see there's a secondary habitat for the golden belly manga bay. We got wolf schooning. There he goes. He just went into his other habitat. And there he is. Just went into his second habitat. <laughs> We got northern tree shrew, and I also don't see any of the northern tree shrews in this habitat, so it's definitely hiding somewhere very well. All right, so I just got out of the building there, and that was fantastic. And when I was in there, I actually asked one of the zookeepers there about why they have the green barriers up. It's to keep away from the keep the people away from the glass because when I was in there there was actually some people that were banging on the glass and usually it's the children that does it but it's actually the adults doing it even though the adults should know better so if you ever come to zoo do never tap on the glass or disturb them especially when they're sleeping because this is their home and they are not here to perform for you we got Aldabra tortoise that's the Aldabra tortoises have a tat Yes, we're over here. You can see I two of the Aldabra tortoises are in the water. I think. Two of them in the water here. Um, I think that cheetah. Alright, it's the cheetah's habitat. I actually have to lift the boat. So I'm just blocked here. Alright, I see the cheetah. You see it? Taking a cat nap. Another view of the cheetahs. And right there. Cute. However, here's the second cheetah. You can see the second one, but he's right there. Alright, it's the gorilla's outdoor habitat. There's one up there. It's a nice habitat for them. So here's another size view of the gorilla habitat. Uh, I see there's two of the gorillas. So it looks like there's a young one. Yeah, and the young one's right behind there. Yeah, you can see the young one. Oh, there's a young one. Alright, so in here, this is the original red panda habitat. Yeah, this is where the red panda used to be, but now it's in the new Asian Highlands area. Look at this here is the Golden Belly Manga Base Outdoor Habitat. Unfortunately, it's inside because the animals do have the option if they want to be outside or inside. We got Calipus Monkey. Unfortunately, it's also off habitat as well. And this is the habitat for him. Very nice. We got the gum leaf hideout and the koala habitat. We got koala. Uh, this is the koala's habitat, but there's a sign that says the koala is indoors. Alright, this is the koala's indoor habitat. It's right there. Yeah, I'm not a bear, I'm a marsupial. And it's true that even though people call them koala bears, they're actually marsupials and are not bears. Here we got brush-tailed rat kangaroo and matchy's tray kangaroo. Okay, so right over here is the indoor view of the matchy's tray kangaroo. I'm pretty sure this is only habitat. Resting in the hammock right there. Okay, so with all this lush green stuff here, it's kind of hard to see the rat kangaroo, and I'm just not seeing good. Okay, so right over here is the train station, so I'm going to head on the train, and after that I'm going to head to the Australian walkabout. And here we've got emu, and western grey kangaroo. And that's the kangaroo's habitat, and also the emu, which is right over here. The I don't really see the western grey kangaroo, but I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere. 
cover here of the Western Grey Kangaroo Habitat. See, we're on the train waiting for it to leave. So I'll stop by here a little later before I leave to see if the Western Grey Kangaroo's out. Alright, so I was just waiting for the train to leave. I can see the kangaroo came out. Sometimes it always pays to wake. Alright, we're departing. Enjoy the train ride. Laughing Kookaburra.
looks like it's not really old locomotive. Wallop we walk about. Look over here on the other side of you, the Western Great Kangaroo. We got a red kangaroo. Let's see some of the red kangaroos. We saw some of these guys on the train. I think there's some of them right there. We got a redneck wallaby and wallaroo. Yeah, these guys are very cute. So the redneck wallabies are the small ones right there. And the uh, wallaroo the one hopping around. Good night, I have a few of the wallabies. They're grazing on some grass. Uh, one right there also grazing. Yeah, see there's the wallaroo right there. Wallaroo is the more darker and larger one. Alright. See some more of the wallabies. We got Kia. Yeah, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the Kia is actually right there. I'm trying to block out the reflection, but you can see it right there. We got Laughing Kookaburra. And sulfur crusted cockatoo. That's the sulfur crusted cockatoo. And it's to the laughing kookaburra. And we saw this guy from the train. And you can see there's a train passing by. It's a really nice ride. There's a kookaburra tree. We saw him from the train as well. And camels in Australia. 
Usually camels are an invasive species in Australia, even though they're actually native to Africa. Right over here is usually where they have the camel back grinding, but unfortunately they're not doing any back grinding today. We got Dinko. And the Dinko is laying down right there by the fence. The black one. Oh, he's so cute. Makes me miss my dogs at home. This is another side view of the Dinko habitat. You can got a common barn owl. This is the barn owl's habitat. Inside the little box there. We've got a North American porcupine. As I do see the porcupine. He's like scared. You got barred owl. I see there's the barred owl. Oh, just shook his feather. Alright, so right as you go past Australia, it also takes you right back to the back to the end of the African elephant crossing. Alright, over here is another side view of the elephant habitat. Comes right there. And more information about the elephant. Look over here, you can see one of the male elephants right there. The elephants do a very fantastic habitat for them. As the male elephants moving. Of course, it's a view of its hind end. Looks like he only has one tusk. Yeah, he's my number one favorite zoo animal. And elephants need lots of food. You got these nice little lanterns here. It'd be cool to see these light up at night. Guess right over here is another view of the elephants. It's actually where you can feed them. Gonna feed the elephants. This is the way it works that you usually put your quarter in this little box here and you just press the button and the food comes out. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and feed the elephant right here. Alright, so I just put my quarter in to feed the elephant. You can see there's three of them, three of them up here. Guess they know this is where they get their food. Yeah, so I put my quarter in to feed them. Yeah, it's a really big elephant. Hmm, looks like she's eating the food I just gave her. That's a big animal. That's probably the closest I've ever gotten to an African elephant. He's eating the food. Yeah, so I got one more quarter here and I'm going to put it in and feed it to the elephants. Okay, it looks like she's getting the food. It's really nice. There's some more of the elephants right here. So that was really cool getting to feed the elephant. Alright, I'm getting I have a good view of the male elephant here. It's a pretty good sized elephant. Another one of the female elephants. One of the other female elephants, and that's actually the female elephant that I was just feeding. I'm pretty sure she really enjoyed it. Is that good for you? Yeah, I knew you enjoy that. Let's just get the snack. Yeah, just get a snack of hay that's hanging down from there. I do love seeing the elephants at zoos. I'm just gonna get some more hair with the others here. So the other female elephant looks like she's having some sticks. Mm. Because these guys are critically endangered, and usually every year these guys are killed due to illegal poaching. It's very sad how poachers illegally murder these animals. 
That's right, your only chance to see these animals are mostly in zoos. Unless you go on a trip to Africa and you get very lucky to see these animals out in the wild. Because usually zoos try their best to save these guys and that's why we're mostly able to see these guys in the zoos. And the elephants are having some more hay. Oh, that's really sweet. They're actually just sharing some of their hay with each other. Because they're very sweet animals. Alright, so I am back near the front of the entrance where I started. So that is going to complete my initial walkthrough. So now I'm going to try and do a rewalk around the zoo. And perhaps see some of the animals I didn't see the first time coming through. There were many animals I missed, but I'm still going to see if... The animals I did not see the first time are out and maybe get some better views of some of the animals I did see the first time. Yeah, so I came back to the black rhinoceros and see the mother and her calf are standing up. Yeah, that's a really cute calf there. The guy was just born last year. Oh, he's so cute. And you can see the grandma rhinos now out. Looks like they just let her out. And the door's closed. It's like, let me in! Get some back of the tiger and looks like he's moving in the other habitat. Oh, that's a very big tiger. He's coming over. He's very active. That's the second tiger's laying down now. And the third tiger is pretty much the exact same spot it was in before. It looks like he's changed positions. Before he was laying down on his right side, now he's laying down on his left side. Alright, so I'm back at the sea lions and seals. And I see the harbor seals now out. And I can see there's the harbor seal swimming around in the water. And you can see there's a the harbor seal right there. I recommend I always... That's why I always recommend if you're ever at a zoo and you didn't see an animal the first time, be sure to go back a second time. Especially if it's an animal you really want to see. Alright, I came back to see if one of the bears was out. And I actually do see one of the bears in there. I can't tell if it's the sloth bear or the black bear. So it could be either one of them. So this is what they look like. So unfortunately it's a no-go for today. Just in case you've never seen it before. Or if you never saw the jungle book, for that matter. This is what the black bear looks like. Alright, so I'm not sure if you realize, but I heard there's just this guy clapping at the sloth bear and black bear habitat. Don't ever do that every out of zoo. Because as I mentioned before, this is the animal's home and they're not here to do tricks for you. So if they're sleeping, don't ever abuse them or make noise because that's just mean. So don't ever do that kind of stuff if you're ever at the zoo. I'm back at the grizzly bear and the grizzly bear moved a little. It's a cute bear. Alright, so I came out hoping to see if the tufted deer was out, and I don't see him anywhere, and I also do not see the red crown cranes anymore. The doors are nighttime habitat is closed off, so I'm assuming they probably went inside because it's a bit of an overcast now, and they thought it was going to rain, even though it's not supposed to rain for the rest of the day. So this is what they look like right there. This is officially a no-go for today. Alright, so I came back to the leopards, and I see the snow leopards out. Yeah, so I'm still looking for the Amura leopard, because all I see is the snow leopard. Alright, so in the other habitat, I see the Amura leopard. So, so far, I'm seeing pretty much every animal I didn't see the first time. The only animal I probably did not get to see today is probably the... Sloth bear and the black bear. Mom, look at that, 
Welcome back to the Red Panda. They're both napping together. Oh, they're really cute. They look like little balls of fluff. And the talking standing up now. Look, he's standing up on that rock there. A much better view to talking. You can see one of the reindeers moving around. And the third one's still laying down, but the other two are standing up. Yeah, so I'm back up to see if the wolves are up and moving. I think I see one right there. So it looks like I'm pretty sure they're staying in the same spot they were in before. Yeah, so it looks like the wolves are pretty much still in the exact same area. There's a third one. I'm not quite sure where the fourth wolfie was. There was actually four wolves when I first came through, but now I only see three of them. Alright, so right over here is actually another size view of the raptor area where we saw the vultures and condors. See both the Indian condors are up in the trees there. Alright, so I came back to see if the Australian brush tail rat kangaroo was out, and I still don't really see him anywhere. Alright, so I came back to see if the brush tail rat kangaroo was out, and I still don't see him anywhere. So unfortunately, it's a no go for today, and that's what they look like. He's just hiding really well. The Matthew Street kangaroo is still sleeping in there. Pretty cute. I'm back to see the wallabies and the wallaroos one more time. There's a wallaroo. Wallaroo is a dark one. See this one little wallaby on its own right there. And I got a better view of the Kia. I came back to the dingo and there's two of them. It's the black one standing up, but there's now a gold one right there. Oh, they're super cute. Make me miss my dogs at home. They're so cute. I just want to pet them. Of course, I wanna, wouldn't want to pet these guys because they'd probably bite you. And so I came back to see the elephants one more time. See the males getting some hay. I got one more last view of the eight male elephant. Ooh. And then the two females here having some hay. And the fe another female elephant there is getting on its front legs on a little tree stump to get some hay. Alright, I'm gonna head in this direction towards the rainforest. Alright, there we go, rainforest building. We got this really nice big waterfall there. We got Golden Lion Cameron. Let's see two of the Camerons. Oh, scientists help Golden Lion Cameron. We got Pie Cameron. There's a Pie Cameron Greg chair. And the second one. Oh, the third one. Ooh, this one came up on the branch there. Some more information about rainforest. And the world's vanishing tropical rainforest. We got the research station. We'll start off with the upper level first, and then we'll head to the lower level after that. The Bornean rainforest. Yeah, so this habitat is supposed to have any animal, but unfortunately there's nothing in here. So unfortunately it's off habitat. There's a habitat usually being, I'm not quite sure what's in here. Yeah, so here's the orangutan habitat. Yeah, there's, a, there's a young one right there. Some more information about rainforest. This is another side view of the orangutan habitat. More cycling occurs on the rainforest floor. We got prehensile tailed porcupine. We got a prehensile tailed porcupine is a nice habitat. 
Yeah, see him right from there, inside that box. We got Brazilian agouti. Alright, so I found the agouti. He's right there, he's actually behind all these trees there. Don't know if you'll be able to see it, but he's there. The second one. There we got Crested Rupendula, Bleeding Heart Dove, and Rose Breasted Grosbeak. Alright, so let's say free flight aviator, so the bird could be anywhere. I do say one of the bird is right there. Alright, four star rich with birth. Here we got Scarlet Ibis, Roseate Spoonbill. And Capybara. This is really nice. You can see the Scarlet Ibis are in the tree with the Roseate Spoonbill. Roseate Spoonbill is the one in the middle and the Scarlet Ibis are the ones that have the most pink in them. You can see there's a Capybara there. Kind of looks like a giant guinea pig. These guys are the largest rodents in the world. And we also got Golden Crested Minna, Baltimore Oriole, Giant Anteater, Chestnut Mane, Green Imperial Pigeon, and Sun Bittern. Alright, that's the rest of the habitat, and I don't really see the Anteater anywhere, or I don't see the rest of the birds in care. Alright, but here's another view of the Anteater. I can see the Anteater's right here laying down. Taking a nap. I got Binturong. Alright, so I'm trying to find the Binturong and I just don't see it anywhere. So it does have the access to go in the back if we want. Or at least just somewhere hiding really well because I just don't see him anywhere. I got Clouded Leopard. Right, Cloud Leopard just yawned there. That's a very nice cat. The Cloud Leopard has a really nice habitat. has lots of places for them to climb on. And cats are the main predators in the rainforest. We got Ocelot. Alright, so this is the Ocelot habitat. And I am looking for him and I don't see him anywhere. Alright, so right over here I found the Ocelot. You can kind of see his tail there. Somewhere on that branch there, but you can see his tail. The rainforest plants must defend themselves. I think that Francois Langer. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so you see the Langer. Three of them. Two of them on the branch there. Got a close up view of all three of them. Yeah, green artari. You know, artaris are great. There's one up in the tree. Three more of them in the back on the tree as well. You got prefaced squirrel. Oh, he's up on the tree there. More information about rainforest. Orangutans need trees. Alright, we got Borny and Orangutan. Oh well, the Orangutans they have here. Okay, I see the male Orangutan. Another one right here. Looks like he's playing with the young one here. Cute. Another one right here. I see orangutans, we have a lot of places for them to climb on. Then we got Bozeman's Rainbow Fish. And Banded Rainbow Fish. Alright, here we go. See all the rainbow fish. There's another orangutan right there. We got Asian Small Cod Otter. So you can spot caught otters swimming in the water. Over there. Oh, two of them. We didn't even see the second one. 
There's two more of them. Uh, like there's four of them in this habitat. Yeah. And auto families stay together. And the otters do have lots of water for them to, to be in. A very nice habitat. I'm going to head to the additional habitat. Alright, so we just did the upper forest and now we're back on the lower level. I'm going to head to the lower forest. We got Golfidocium and Poison Dart Frog. Okay, that's the habitat for them. I'm trying to find them and I don't really see them anywhere. Right, so I completely missed it, but there is actually a frog right there. You can see him there. Amphibians from the fourth floor. No, golden poison dart frog. I see two of them right there. I see there's a second frog right there. A no, Panamanian Harlequin frog. Yes, there's three of them. Yeah, we got Emerald Tree Boa and Amazon Milk Frog. I see the Amazon Milk Frog right there. And I do see the Emerald Tree Boas in the tree there. The second Milk Frog right next to the Emerald Tree Boa. Amphibians can break through their skin. A Puerto Rican crested toad. Where I'm doing the best I can to find this guy, and I'm just not really seeing him anywhere. We got a green and black poison dart frog, and tiger legged monkey frog. Yeah, so I do see the green and black poison dart frog in the back. It's in that little bowl there. I'm doing the best I can to see the tiger-legged monkey frog, and I don't really see it anywhere. I'm not climbing toad. Right, so I'm looking everywhere for this toad, and he blends in so well, and I just don't see him anywhere. The shallow rain forest ponds attract many animals. Here we got jewel cichlid and clown squid or catfish. Yeah, so I'm looking through this tank, and I don't see any of the white. Yeah, I believe I see something. I think that's a catfish there. So here we got straw-colored fruit bat and Rodriguez fruit bat. Bats help plants. Alright, so I see all the bats. There's some hanging from there. More of them. And the bats got all the space and a lot of places for them to fly around. We got blue poison dart frog. Yeah, I see the blue poison frog. Here's another one, great scare. Here's two more of them there. And the rainforest floor is humid. We got dwarf crocodile and lion head cichlid. You see some of the cichlids in here. You can see the dwarf crocodiles right there. Oh, reptiles thrive on the forest floor. You got tiger rat snake. You can see some of the tree here. And chameleons keep an eye out for insects. You got northern spider tortoise. The spider tortoises. Let's see, there's a third one. More information about rainforest. We got the gold leaf tail gecko. Alright, I found the gecko. I didn't see him until someone pointed it out to me. We got Amazon tree boa. I see him in the trees. 
<laughs> Got a failed chameleon. Guys, she didn't come in the tree. A Baron's Green Racer. Yeah, I found it because up there. Hey, heavy rains cause muddy waters. The red bellied piranha. Yeah, you can see the piranha is actually right over here. I almost missed him, but he's there. Even though in movies these guys are portrayed as the man-eaters people think they are, even though these guys are not really the, the kind of man-eaters people think they are. We got a tentacled snake. I said the tentacled snake is right there. Lizards scurry about the rainforest. We got Fiji Island Band of the Guana. Oh, so I see the iguana, I can see his tail there. Yeah, I can kind of see it there, I can see his tail there. We got green tree monitor. Oh, so the monitor is actually on the ground. I was expecting it to see in the trees, but it's on the ground. We got Pegasus catfish. Yeah, I see the catfish. We also got side bar barb. Some of the fish there. The shallow roots protect the rainforest. We got prehensile tailed skink. Right, I see the skink. You can see there's tail right over here. So you can kind of see the rest of his body there. We got green tree python. And magnificent tree frog. Because it's the habitat for the tree frog and the python. You can see the green tree pythons, the trees there. Alright, so I don't really see the magnificent tree frog, so it's definitely hiding somewhere really well. Kind of large snakes wait for prey. We got Burmese python. The Burmese pythons, great hair. And people often keep keep these as pets, but are unaware how large they grow. And once they get too large, they are, are released into the Florida Everglades and they start consuming all the wildlife. That's why I recommend a ball python would be a better pet because usually if these guys get too big, they are released into the Florida Everglades and they start consuming all the wildlife, which is very bad. Now prehensile tailed skink. And Indo-Chinese box turtle. Yes, the turtle. Can I see there is a second Indo-Chinese box turtle? Alright, so I'm not really seeing the skink anywhere. I did see him in his own habitat, but I don't really see him anywhere. Oh, leaf cutter ants need plants. I see all the leaf cutter ants. Carrying all the leaves. Cool, I'm coming through a little too. Oh, this one. Very nice. All right, so over here at the porcupine habitat, they have this big rain coming down, which is very nice. Kind of makes it look like the rainforest. The porcupines are up and moving. See all the fish are moving around because of the rain. We also got red-tailed giant gourami and cape porcupine. Yeah, I see the cape porcupine. We're all the way back there. And the rain's finally stopped. And now the steam's coming out. Very nice how they make it look like the rainforest in here. Very tropical looking. The rainforest contains some of the largest rivers in the world. We got Garial. Giant Malaysian turtle. Spotted pond turtle. Fly river turtle. And side in box snake neck turtle. Alright, I see the Garials. Two of them on land. There's all the turtles.
can I see the Gariel. The Gariel, the turtles have all this water for them to be in. Right, so over here is another side view of the Cape Porcupine. I was hoping to get a closer view of them, but there's all this mist in the way, and it's kind of hard to see them with all this mist. Very natural looking, kind of make it look like the rainforest. But you can kind of see the porcupines are somewhere in this mist here, but it's very hard to see with all the mist. And over here is the lower view of the Francois Langer. You can see there's one right there, and it just walked away. The rainforests are being destroyed. Okay. Alright, there we go. Now I can see the porcupines. Well, I can see the Lankers right there. We got Goldie's monkey. Alright, so I did not see what the Goldie's monkey's out. But I did not see it anywhere. More information about Cameron. We got a white fronted marmoset. Alright, so I don't see the marmoset anywhere. And it's also probably somewhere hiding here as well. As you can see, I'm outside of the building, so that is going to do it for my visit to the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo in Cleveland, Ohio. I hope you all enjoyed it. Saw pretty much almost everything the zoo had to offer. Only animal I did not get to see was probably the sloth bear, and the black bear was also a no-go, as well as the tufted deer would snot out, but I don't blame him because it was very cloudy today, and as I said, there was some rain around 8 o'clock this morning. So I had a fantastic time coming here. Leave some comments down below if it was your favorite animal that I saw. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I have new videos like this being posted every Saturday at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. If this is the kind of stuff you enjoy, then join my channel. I'm already around 200 subscribers at the time of this filming. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!